If I tell you I'm good, probably you will say I'm boasting. But if I tell you I'm no good, you know one line. <laughs> Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PTNG, and praise God to get money back for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, man. I don't know what time it is. The doctor's in the house, man. Check this out, baby. So we have another person, another champion in the 147-pound division, welterweight, coming out and, and refuting the statements and the claims made by Eddie Hearn and Jerome Boots Ennis, you know what I'm saying, as re in regards to them receiving... Um, and offered to fight boots, you know what I'm saying? So one first we seen it from Brian Norman Jr. and Senior, you know, they came out and said, Hold on, man, we didn't we didn't get no offer like that, you know what I'm saying? And uh and, and, and when we did get the offer, we countered offered. You know, we we, we offered a counter to that offer to that offer and we're waiting on y'all you know what i'm saying essentially and we're definitely willing to fight him um so please don't think that anybody's backing down well stanny onus has also jumped on the jumped on the bad wagon they said hold on man you saying that you said the offer he said that's cap wait a minute wait wait a minute <laughs> And you know, when the European says cap, they for real, you know what I'm saying? Nah, but all jokes aside, though, man, I love the fact that he said cap, man. You know, I think that, uh, you know, here is Stanley Onis from when he first started fighting to where he is now and how his English has progressed as, as well as his fighting skills. I think it's dope because it just makes you more marketable, more relatable, you know what I'm saying, to other cultures and communities. So I think that's dope, man. You know, uh, I don't know what's funny. Or Stanley Onis called a cap or, or, or Eddie Hearn saying no diddy. I mean... This table's about to jump jump up in a minute. Huh? It's got me really excited. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Wait a minute. No diddy. No diddy. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> But either way, man, I think I think it's dope. But yes, Eddie Onis has said, man, we did receive the offer from Eddie Hearn, um, you know, and I'm definitely willing to fight, willing, willing to fight Jerome Boots Ennis. Hey, he said, hey, man, not only that, I've been willing to fight Jerome Boots Ennis for two years now. Bullshit! 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 You know what I'm saying? He said, I I, I, I wanted to fight uh, him twice over the last two years, man. So that's a one time per year average, you know. So what's going on? Why are we not making this making this fight happen? Now I will say this, Stanley Onis, you know, he's the interim champion, right? Um, currently. Uh, um, uh, Terrence Crawford is the full champion or the super champion at, 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 for, the, for the WBA. And we fully anticipate and expect that Stanley Onis will be elevated in a similar fas fashion that uh, the WBO champion Brian Norman was elevated, right, to full champion once once uh, Terrence Crawford vacated. So I think it's just a matter of time. And I would love for these fights to happen, man. Hopefully they can get their stuff together, you know, because... Um, According to the IBF, which is the the title that Jerome Boots Ennis holds, they're trying to order him to fight uh, his mandatory, which is Karen uh, Chukadzian. Hope I pronounced that right. And those of you know that you know that's a rematch. Nobody wants to see that rematch right now. I wouldn't mind him spinning the block later, but I would love for him to prioritize other fights, like potentially unifying with the, with any one of the other champions, like Barrios with the WBC or or, or Stanley Onis with the WBA or Brian Norman Jr. with the WBO. Man, but yeah, y'all let me know what y'all think about this, man. I, I just thought it was I thought it was a uh, funny and i don't i don't think anybody's capping i don't think anybody's lying and i don't think anybody's ducking you know i just think it's a miscommunication between camps like i said man uh, 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 us as boxing fans we don't appreciate or realize how many moving parts go along with making fights happy you know these fighters have teams you know these fighters have fighters these fighters have expectations these fighters have uh, people they have to pay themselves and and they also have to pay themselves you know so so i just i think when people 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 um drastically um make that process of making a fight uh uh much more simplistic than it actually is so i don't think anybody's lying or capping or, or ducking or afraid to fight i think they are they all are willing to fight but the terms and everything just has to be uh, uh ironed out and uh situated you know what i'm saying but y'all let me know what y'all think about that man do you think stanley owens is lying do you think norman jr is lying do you think eddie hearn or jerome boots is lying or do you think it's just a misunderstanding like i do i appreciate y'all man remember with god we can do anything without god we're nothing the doctor's out peace from the hood to college, both worlds they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.